Hey guys, this is Fimray91, and I'm talking about Escape from Tarkov. Now, this is a game I really didn't hear about, I think, until today, but apparently it's an extraction shooter, and it's an early access, but apparently some people have... I'm guessing these are pre-orders for, like, when it releases. They pre-ordered, like, the Unheard Edition, right? And the boss didn't expect players to get mad about... With, with the Unheard Edition was the only edition that came with the PvE content. See, apparently, the people who bought the Edge of Darkness edition, which was about $100 less, the Unheard edition was about $250, they were promised all DLC. But, but initially, Battle State Games, which is the developers behind Escape from Tarkov, they were like, well, this isn't DLC, it's a game mode and a feature, so it, is, it doesn't count as DLC. This really caused backlash, and rightfully so, because here's the thing. Yes, I understand PvE is technically, this is a game mode, right? I'm not sure exactly how it works. They said, like, you play this co-op and, like, it it, ha it, de it deals with overall progression and stuff like that. See, I, I don't play the game, so I don't know exactly how all this works. But what I'm going to say is that you cannot, in my opinion, I'm not telling the game developers or game things what they can do. But when it comes to special editions, usually they get like art books and um, cosmetic changes in the game. Maybe early access to play the game. I'm fine with all that. I don't care if you get to play the game three days before I do because you bought the special edition. I don't care if you got a digital art book because you bought the special edition. I don't care if you got some skins or whatnot if, because you bought the special edition. Listen, I have no problem with like, you know how certain MMOs sometimes, or I guess free games. Certain free games will be like, okay, you either have to wait 24 hours or you have to pay this. There's no problem with that, especially if they're free. It's a little different if they're free. But when you're paying this much for a game and you're being told, yeah, this is a mode and that's only coming to players of the Unheard Edition. And then they eventually said like, okay, it'll just be with them for six months, then it'll be with them later. But now it seems like, no, it's going to be there a lot sooner, even though they, they said they're going to do it in waves because there's not enough, like, I guess, space on the server to really support everybody going in, I guess. There should be no way, in my opinion, that you should get an edition that comes with a game mode that no one else has. That's what I'm talking about. Like, if it were Halo, let's say that, um, Slayer, yeah, let's say that, there, that Halo decided Halo Infinite is free on Game Pass, but if you buy the Halo Inf More Infinite edition, you get Slayer game mode in multiplayer. Do you know how much backlash that would cause? I, I don't think so. I, I, I'm like, you shouldn't be giving modes and stuff. You should be giving them perks and stuff. I have no problem with the other perks. Like, they have certain things like um, being able to skip, like, one quest, a, a daily quest for free. I'm not sure. Once again, I don't play the game, so I don't know how things work in it. But, and I don't mind that. That's fine. But saying that, but saying that no, if you don't pay for this, for this, like, super pricey edition, you don't even get this game mode? No, 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 no. I disagree with that heavily. But what do you guys think about this? And have any of you guys actually played Escape from Tarkov? I haven't. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching my lecture. Subscribe. May God bless you all.